York Salem and welcome back to PGI Tiger News Quarantine Edition. Thank you to all the essential workers out there. This week, we want to highlight two specific groups. First, a big thank you to all the custodians currently working at PQ during this time. Also, this week was National Administrative Assistance Day. We want to thank all of the administrative assistants in our district for all the hard work you do. And now a word from Mr. DeGrand. Good morning, North Salem. Happy Friday. It's April 24th. Kaylee, Emmett, thanks for throwing it over to me. You guys are doing a heck of a job. Um, just a lot of shout outs uh, today. Uh, just wanna thank uh, Dr. Bell uh, at PQ and uh, all the staff members that have uh, helped out and organized our, our food deliveries, our food pantry on Wednesday. Um, just great to see the community come together uh, just to, to pay it forward and to help. Um, I've seen some, some great emails, keep them coming in. Uh, people helping neighbors, helping each other out. Um, as I will continue to say, one day at a time, stay strong, stay safe, um, and please stay well. Uh, seniors, I'm uh, gonna shoot out the Google Hangouts. I'd like to see if we can beat six from last week, please. Um, uh, we're gonna Google meet a senior class about one o'clock. Uh, if we can get to eight or 10, uh, I think we can do it. Uh, 1.30, juniors, I'm gonna send you guys out something this time. Uh, as well, so let's uh, let's touch base. Love to put some names and faces back together, and uh, have a great weekend. Uh, here uh, Saturday, I think is getting finally close to sixty. Can't believe it. We haven't hit sixty consistently. So um, the flowers are out, the grass is turning green, and uh, the good news of the week is crushed Yankee Monopoly the other day. So have given up on Clue. Uh, thinking we're going with uh, Blockus. If you have not played that game. Uh, pretty good. Hope everybody's well. Stay strong. Have a great Friday, Tiger Nation. Thank you, Mr. DeGrandy. Now, this past Wednesday, we celebrated the 50th year anniversary of Earth Day, and we wanted to give a big shout out to the Middle School Student Forum and Mrs. Zubach for all their Earth Day activity suggestions, and a big thank you to all those who submitted their photos. I managed to get outside, which was a rare occurrence during this quarantine, so I'll consider that my celebration. Oh, that's good. It's also National School Library Week. Although we can't actually get to the school library, there is still a way to keep reading. There's an app called Sora where you can log in and access ebooks and audiobooks. Ask Mrs. Sandler for more information. Also, thank you, Mrs. Sandler, and everyone in the library for all that you do for us throughout the year. Emmett, have you been reading any books? Well, the only book I've been able to read recently has been my favorite book, my acing AP, AB calculus book. It's been my favorite thing to do over quarantine. That looks like such a good book. That's so funny. I've actually only been reading this crash course AP English literature and composition book. And now let's hear some important information from the Warriors Club. Happy Friday, North Salem. The Warriors just wanted to pop in and give you guys a few updates on some things. Now, number one, if you haven't already joined our Google Classroom, feel free to do so. If you join the classroom, there is no obligation to join in the club. Every Tuesday, we have a virtual meeting with all of our club members, and we would love for some of you guys to join us. Number two, if you don't already, follow us on all of our social medias, including Instagram and Twitter. On these platforms, we will be keeping you guys up to date with any information that we receive and tips on how to stay healthy during this time. Number three, for the month of May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month, we will be having a TGI segment every Friday to give you guys some tips and tricks on this announcement number four. 
This year, our mental health and wellness fair will be held virtually. We will have many booths and vendors to help support you guys throughout this time. More information on that to come. May, we have many activities that we hope to accomplish. If you're interested in volunteering or helping out, please join our Google Classroom and let us know. We always welcome new members, especially at a time like this. Number five, the most important one. Make sure you're checking in on all your friends and family. This time can be very tough for some people and it can make someone stay with a simple hello. So don't forget to send them a message. That's it for our Warrior segment this week. We'll see you next Friday, North Salem. And now it's time for this week's game of charades with a brand new special guest. We will be revealing the answer later on in the show. Hey guys, it's Officer Armstrong and the boys here. <laughs> Hope you're all doing good. We miss you. Gonna play a little game of charades here, all right? <laughs> hope you guessed right. We miss you guys and we hope you're doing well, all right? Bye. Make sure you listen to your parents. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. And now, roll the segments. Good morning, North Salem. Most of you already saw the survey that's out there. You guys get to pick what kind of haircut I'm going to get next week. Survey ends tomorrow, April 24th. Get your votes in. Look at this hair. Look at this. Is it going to be bald? Is it going to be a mohawk? Is it going to be a reverse mohawk? We don't know. Hi, North Salem. I'm Alex, and I'm going to show you 10 things to do if you're boring quarantine. The first thing you can do is find an old t-shirt that you don't wear much anymore and bleach it. Just make sure that you section off your shirt before you bleach it. Never apply bleach directly onto the shirt and make sure you wear gloves while you're bleaching or else you can get hurt. My second suggestion is to listen to your favorite album. This is what I've been listening to recently. The third thing you can do in quarantine is dye your hair a cool color. But make sure you tell your mom first or else you will get the wooden spoon. The fourth thing that you can do while home alone right now is to make a little drawing that represents your mood. I, for one, feel like this guy. The fifth thing that you can do if you're bored at home during quarantine is watch your little brother play Destiny 2. <laughs> Number six is to build a puzzle. We have a 1,000 piece puzzle here, and believe it or not, we've actually made some progress. This only took about a week. Number seven is to replay some of your childhood video games. This one in particular is ancient. Suggestion number eight is to read a book. As you can tell, very obviously, I have been reading all of the classics. Number nine is to go outside and get some fresh air. Go on a walk around your neighborhood. The last thing that you can do when you're home and bored during quarantine is a face mask with your family. Have fun, North Salem, and stay at home. Here's the story of a bunch of students. Some amazing and resilient boys and girls. All of them in front of screens. At a distance, giving online a world. Here's the story Hi. of a bunch of teachers. Hi. Who are sending you learning love and hope. Hello. Hello there. They're your good friends from teammates. Hey, y'all. So dedicated hey. and fun and dope. Hi. And then one day these students Hola. saw their teachers and they knew that they could do it in this crunch. Hi guys. And this hey, group hey. would become an online family. Hi. That's the way we all Hello. became the 8th grade bunch. The 8th grade bunch. The 8th grade bunch. That's the way we became.
Hi, eighth graders. I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy. We miss you and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, Cherubs. Even though the building's closed, we're still your teachers and we're still your biggest fans. Know we're always here for you. Even if we're not together in person, we're still together in here and in our hearts. We miss you terribly. Can't wait to be with you again and celebrate being together and having those good laughs and having you steal water from my office. I even miss that. Hope you guys are hanging in there. Can't wait to see you. Be well, you guys. Thank you guys again this week for sending in so many awesome segments. We love staying connected with you all and seeing what you're up to. And now it's time for a game of Guess Who. Last week, you had to guess who these items were. And now for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. Mrs. Peral! Thank you for participating, Mrs. Peral, and congratulations to everyone who guessed who. And now it's time for this week's game of Guess Who. And the answer to this week's charade was... Thank you so much, Officer Armstrong, for participating. You did a great job. Well, that's all we've got for you today, Tigers. Have a great day. And always remember to be, be yourself. yourself. Did I tell you I wrote the wrong essay? No, stop. That's literally horrible. At last week when we had that assignment, I wrote essay prompt number three and not number two. And so I realized after I like texted Chloe, I was like, so what book did you use for it? She was like, we weren't supposed to use a book. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I uh, emailed Dr. K and thankfully he was fine with it, but it does not help me at all because the AP just does not have that type of essay on it anymore. So it's okay. Emmett, do not ask me what I've been reading. I I have no books. Well, neither do I. So, <laughs> so we're gonna come up with something. I'm jealous. I don't have that copy of it. I wish. I wish. Maybe I can run with you. <laughs> you would have to wipe it down because corona. Well, bye guys. <laughs>